Europe contains some of the greatest cities in the world. However, some of these cities also have many downsides too. Let's take London or Paris as an example. They are often regarded as two of the greatest cities in the world, but they are also notoriously known for having terrible congestion, high crime rates, and very, very expensive. Therefore, they are not the greatest places to live compared to other cities across the continent. Hey guys, Sam here from the Geography Bible. How's it going? Let's kick this video off with number 15, Oslo, Norway. The transport and infrastructure is amazing for a city of its size. The streets are very safe to walk and the people are very friendly too. There are plenty of excellent restaurants, bars and cafes, gallery spaces and interesting neighbourhoods to explore. Beautifully kept and spacious parks with green space. Its climate, however, isn't the greatest, or else it would have probably ranked higher on our list. Number 14, Dublin, Ireland. Dublin's relatively small size for a capital city with only roughly half a million inhabitants and its location, complete with sea and river proximity, make it a perfect city to explore and live. History is everywhere, from the Grand Post Office to the cemetery and the libraries are also some of the best in the world. The home of Guinness, Dublin is much a party city as a sightseeing venue. So make sure to keep the evenings free to enjoy a glass of two of the local brew and listen to some awesome live music. Number 13, Madrid, Spain. Madrid's quality of life is undeniably incredible, with fantastic culture and tradition, which makes it one of the greatest cities in Europe to live. When visiting Madrid, the first impression is the amazing architecture, grand boulevards and the Paris-like buildings. There are countless historic mountains, tapas bars and cafes. The climate is also fantastic in this city, although its main downside is that it doesn't have a beach, unlike Barcelona. Number 12, Munich, Germany. After Berlin, Munich is Germany's most visited city. The annual Oktoberfest alone draws some 7 million visitors to its beer tents. However, Munich is not just about beer and pretzels, even though you can see how those already improve the livability. As well as the many beautiful sites and museums in the city, it also makes the perfect base for exploring southern Germany and its many alpine lakes. Whether you just want to relax with some locally brewed beer or hear up and coming musicians at a festival, Munich has something for literally everyone. Number 11, Helsinki, Finland. Helsinki scores high in stability, something that might make the 600,000 inhabitants of the Finnish capital smile. Hence why it is officially the happiest country in the world. For centuries, the country was at any given time occupied either by Sweden or Russia and in a trading rivalry with Tallinn, a mere 80 kilometers across the Baltic in Estonia. Number 10, Amsterdam, Netherlands. High scores on culture and environment shouldn't come as a surprise with this incredible city. The city of canals, barges, flowers and free thinking is a fantastic place to live. There are enough museums from the Anne Frank to Van Gogh, from the Science Centre to the Museum of Bags and Purses. It is also of course home to many incredible cafes with very relaxed drug laws, if that's your type of thing. Number 9, Barcelona, Spain. Its fantastic climate means Barcelona is one of the European cities with the best quality of life. The Catalan capital is ranked among the best cities in the world for quality of life, safety and equality. The city has good healthcare and medical services, both public and private. And of course, beautiful beaches and plenty to do on them. Number 8, Stockholm, Sweden. Impeccably clean and incredibly safe, Stockholm is a dream place to live and visit. 
Stockholm is a fantastic place to live with so many wonderful attractions, rich history and a special kind of Scandinavian charm. In reality, Stockholm is such a fantastic place to live and work and many people move to the Swedish capital and embrace life in one of Europe's most vibrant cities. Number 7. Berlin, Germany Germany's capital, once divided, is now one of the trendiest in Europe, if not the world. Berliners are embracing life and living it to the absolute fullest. Cafes, restaurants, bars, beer gardens, techno parties, music and art venues are found around every corner, making this an easy spot in which to have lots of fun. For a city in one of the most powerful, well-developed countries in the world, it is also actually very affordable. Number 6. Edinburgh, Scotland Edinburgh is a small, friendly city with so many amazing attractions, historic sites and welcoming citizens that makes it perfect for visiting or moving to. Not only is Edinburgh a great place to live, but Scotland as a whole is a fantastic place to take a holiday. If you live in Edinburgh, you can be at the Scottish Highlands within a matter of hours or you could visit some of its most charming towns or visit the islands off the northwest coast such as the Isle of Skye which make for some of the most amazing road trip journeys you can do on this planet. Number 5. Lisbon, Portugal Portugal's capital has everything you could want if you were looking to move to another city. A beautiful seaside setting, super seafood dining, lots of history and a dynamic contemporary scene. Lisbon or Portugal as a whole is very welcoming and accepting. All this and it's among Europe's most affordable cities to live as well. Number 4. Copenhagen, Denmark Now, not as affordable as the previous entry, however, it is consistently ranked as one of the top cities to live for its quality of life. Copenhagen is safe, clean and a beautiful place to live. From an ageing, indebted city with fleeing industries and inhabitants, it has become one of the happiest cities in the world according to different city rankings. Copenhagen has based its resilience on a dynamic economy and a green and inclusive urban environment for its inhabitants. Number 3. Zurich, Switzerland With its location right in the heart of Switzerland, Zurich is a modern cosmopolitan hub that is regularly ranked as one of the top cities for quality of life in the world. It's also considered Switzerland's trend-setting city, thanks to its highly innovative arts and creative scene. Number 2. Geneva, Switzerland Another entry for the Swiss this city is full of green spaces. Entering any park at summer is like a step into paradise. The salaries are extremely high in this city and it is extremely safe, a great place to raise a family. Although it's a relatively small city, there is plenty to do here, such as symphonies, concerts, exhibitions, music and film festivals, all kind of art, paintings and opera. And finally, we have reached number one. Do you know which city we're about to reveal? It is in fact Vienna, Austria. Every year from 2009 to 2019, Mercer's Quality of Living survey has named Vienna as the best place to live in the entire world. It has lots of green spaces, cheap and efficient public transport, a very low crime rate and geographically is in a great location. As it's in Central Europe, you can easily access some of the greatest cities in Europe within a couple of hours flight. So there we have it, 15 of the most livable cities in Europe. Did we miss any out? Let us know in the comments below. Some honourable mentions are Lyon, France, just missed out on our list. Frankfurt, Germany, a beautiful city with a beautiful skyline. With two entries from Germany on our list already however, we thought we'd give it a miss. Luxembourg City, Luxembourg. Brussels, Belgium, Bern, again Switzerland already had two on our list and finally Reykjavik, Iceland. 
its remoteness, climate and threat of volcanoes meant it didn't feature on our list. However, from what I've heard and read and researched, it is a magnificent city that is definitely worth visiting. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to drop a like. And if you love this sort of content and learning about cities and countries from around the world, consider subscribing. It is completely free and we've got plenty more to come. Thanks so much for watching. We will see you very soon in the next video.